Yesterday, we get the story of a British minister saying that it would have been cheaper to have settled the strike. And today we hear um, the government have admitted that they instructed train firms <clears throat> not to settle the train, the rail strike dispute because it would be cheaper to keep the strikes going. Um, this has come from the RMT union. And Mick Lynch wrote today, uh, the government admitted that prolonging the rail strike was part of a deliberate strategy that was dictated by the government's concern to keep down the pay of rail workers, nurses, ambulance workers, and teachers. Uh, the question really is, is, is what exactly is going on? Um, Mr Merriman has said if you look at it from that particular lens, then absolutely it's actually cost, ended up costing us more uh, than would have been the case if we'd actually settled. So a complete contradiction there uh, from the two sides of the rail union as we go into a nurses' strike today. Um, the job of a government is to keep the country running uh, rather than to prolong strikes and to negotiate uh, in the same way as the job of governments around the world is to negotiate and to secure peace rather than to promote discord and war. Uh, but nobody, nobody should be forced into negotiating peace with a country that has invaded its neighbour in the same way. Nobody should be forced to um, make a quick peace with um, management that is determined to keep workers in um, poor conditions. We need to be negotiating for improvement in all places.